Ibiza. Uh, most people know me as Este Wizard. I was born in Guadalajara, Jalisco in 1982. Immigrated to the state in 1996 when I was almost 13 years old. I used to draw a lot, never really pursued like an artist career. Uh, when I was 12, I, I was kind of drawn by the Chicano culture, like all the low rider, Chicano style, you know, cholo riding. Uh. So then I discovered like New York, LA graffiti, so really got my eye on the colors and the style. So then I kind of focused my career into like lettering and doing my street art. What we got here is, uh, you know, we got the two iguanas by like standing as, a, as pillars. And then they were shipping the burrito. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, you know, it's the, the kingdom of the burrito. The burrito kingdom? The burrito kingdom, there you go. Yeah. You excited about it? Super stoked, man. You know, I just trying to like. Keep it grounded. This is a big thing, you know? I usually get my inspiration from a lot of, um, just from all cultures all over the world, a lot of colorful stuff, but I base my style more into like the Aztec tradition, Mexica, Mixtecas, Oltecas. So why do you burn the sage? Pretty much like neutralize, you know, the, the energy. I'm like a clean, you know, environment. Especially here downtown, it's like crazy energy, you know. So you have to maintain the. Uh, when I was doing my apprenticeship at Dead Before Dishonor, that was literally like a couple of like business down the street. For my apprenticeship, I was eating there a lot, you know, just looking at the building. And, you know, they kind of see my work and they give me the opportunity to, uh, you know, design the, uh, this, you know, this, this huge project. Well, I mean, pretty much I use like cheap paint just to get the, uh, the main sketch on it. Uh, obviously, you gotta shake it pretty good, you know, get the good flow. Let's get it done. This first line you're gonna do right here. We're gonna be working on, uh, on this bottom part right here, this column. kind of the, how they have the you know the Aztec theme going on it was just a matter of you know just kind of I don't know I don't know it just came to me I was like I look at the building and it kind of just came to me and decided to do the pyramid with the one as kind of worshiping a burrito the, the style itself how you can get that out you came with those rules from ancestors I mean, it came from your inner soul. Pretty much, yeah. For the last couple of years, I've been like reconnecting with my ancestral, you know, roots, and, and I just been. I mean, everything pretty much changed. You know, all my drawings and the way I see art kind of evolved into this kind of art. We ordered over like 900, I believe which we pretty much used them all. <laughs> like it was like, you know, a little more and less, but we pretty much went through all the pain. We had to go a couple of times and, you know, re-up on some black colors and... And how, how long did it take from start to finish? Well, I would say it was about a month, but it was all spread out within, you know, like uh, we, we did the first part uh, within 14 days. Then we took a two week break and then we came back to do the party part, which it was another two weeks. So. Well, we're starting uh, to outline the whole thing. Uh, we're trying to get the top part done by the end of the day. Um, and then, you know, start going, working our way down. What day is it? What day is it today? I don't even know, man. What day is it? Is it uh, Friday? I think it's Friday. Is it the fifth day? Fifth day. Fifth day. Fourth day painting. Fourth day painting. And um, I mean, it's looking great. It's dope. You know? 
yeah, I don't know. I just come up with this stuff. I mean, I look at a lot of artists, you know, and like I always look in the reference, and that's where everything just comes together when I design stuff. Bright and bold, bold will hold. Good, fast process, man. We're actually knocking it out pretty quick. Are you used to being up on scaffolding like this? Scaffolding, no, but heights, yeah. Probably like, at least not like more dangerous shit, but it's pretty secure for both of us. <laughs> but yeah, it was, I mean, I underestimate the work. It was really, it was, it was a lot of work. <laughs> close to uh, finish up the top part of it. Uh, I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna uh, work on this part right now, the pyramid. Uh, stay tuned. So uh, be part of this project is just like a dream come true. Uh, I never really thought about having my art, you know, like um, be part of the art community in San Jose or uh, even downtown area. Stop. I'm tired. You can see um, the pyramid right in the middle representing like the solid foundation, you know, for, um, of the family or of the business, I would say, in this case. And then you look up and then you can see the burrito shining above the sun, like, you know, it's like the sun always comes for everybody. It's just like, it's just light, you know, represents the light. And then you see the, they want us looking at it, like worshiping, you know, such a, like, I don't know, like in this case, you know, it's like one of the best burritos. So they're just worshiping the, the Lord burrito. Um, it's kind of funny, you know, in a way, but uh, it's just like, I mean, you can get whatever you want out of it, you know, it's for everyone to just look at it and kind of use their own imagination and make up their own ideas or the whole, you know, the whole, story behind it. I hope uh, everybody gets to enjoy this mural. Pretty much it's been designed with like heart and soul. I hope people uh, really look at it and you know and enjoy the day or make the day go you know like feel a little better. Hopefully people can feel more connected to the roots and feel proud of the roots and where we're coming from. Come check it out. Buenas Taqueria, Este Wizard 2021.